Hi, I'm Michael Nadlin from Market Lead, and this is the second part of the series of quick success with Google Ads algorithms. Now, as you can probably tell by the title of this, this is about bidding and bidding models. So the first video was about structure. If you have the right structure, that is the baseline of success. It's the fundamentals. But once that's set up properly, you need to make sure you've got the right bidding model. Because if you've got all the data going to the right place, the algorithm needs to know how to use the data. And the bidding model is going to be about how to use the data. So let's jump in. Bidding models. Ensure that bidding models are aligned with your goal. There are so many bidding models in Google Ads now, and I only stick to a select few now. In the past, I was very manual, but now I'm using a lot of automated and algorithmic bidding models because they just simply work. In the past, I used to be against them because I thought, oh, they're gonna take away my job, I need to stick to it. But now I realize the best results come from algorithmic bidding models in Google Ads. So there's two ways of bidding models that you will need to know. Is your business e-commerce or is it lead generation? You will know that, so that's gonna be simple. The next thing is the bidding model is gonna be aligned with your goal. So is your goal growth or a cost effectiveness. Now this is very different for a lot of brands. Everyone says they want growth, but if you grow a brand too much or their cost per lead goes too high or the cost per sale goes too high, they freak out and they realize it's not about growth, it's about cost effectiveness as well. Everyone wants growth, but then some people are more sensitive to the costs associated with it. So let's jump in to see what is the best model for you. So bidding models for lead generation. If you're focused on growth or you want more leads, you need to focus or use a maximized conversion bidding model. It's simple. Once you've got about 30 to 50 conversions in the campaign, per campaign, in the last 30 days, this is an amazing bidding model to use. In the past, I've given away my maximized conversions hacks and other bidding models and how to use them and what the structure is. But this is basically about what to do when you want the result. So if you want more growth and more leads, maximize conversion is your goal. But if you want more cost-effective leads, you want maximized conversions with a target CPA goal or a CPA goal because you're telling Google, I want more leads within this certain range. The reason why you want it in a certain range is because sometimes Google might get you a lead for $500 or for $5. Now, if your cost per lead is $50, that's amazing if you get it for five. But if your goal is $50 and it gets you for $500, you're not gonna be happy. So it's giving Google also a goal to narrow in on. Now, when you start to narrow in, you will start to lose leads, conversions on the breadth. Now, that might actually be cost effective for you, but because of the data Google has, it's actually gonna exclude those from potential leads because it is trying to hit your goal volume as much as possible. Now, the next one is bidding models for e-commerce. Now, if you want more sales, you do want to focus on maximize conversions initially. That will start to push more conversion goals if your conversion goal is a purchase goal. Now, if you want more revenue, you want maximize conversion value. So more sales was mean literally binary sales. If it's a $2 sale or a $2,000 sale, you just want to get more sales of it. So you're telling Google, just get me more through the door. To get more revenue, you do want to focus on maximize conversion value because you're telling Google, just give me more revenue in. It doesn't matter if the sale was worth $100 or $500, just get me more sales in through the door. Now, more revenue per sale or ROAS goal, this is what a lot of people focus on, is maximizing the conversion value with a target ROAS. So this is when you go, I want a 400% return on ad spend, 800% return on ad spend. So making sure that every dollar you spend has a certain amount of money coming back in for it. So it's very focused on a dollar in, $5 out type of mentality, which is very limiting if you're trying to get more revenue. In the past, actually, and the truth is, when you do go for more revenue or maximize conversion value, you don't actually get as good or a better result as you tend to get when you're focusing on more revenue per sale or a ROAS goal. Because when you have that ROAS goal, Google starts to focus in on getting people who will meet your goal. And then once it starts getting that data, it's gonna keep fueling in the machine or the algorithm to get those results for the future. Then there comes a point when once that data is already primed there, if you do lower the target ROAS goal to get more revenue, you'll actually start to get more ROAS per the sale and you'll also get more sales as well. So that's a bit of a hack there. I might've gone in a bit of circles with that one, but there's a few ways to go about this. E-commerce is a very difficult area at the moment. It's very simple and it's very easy on some accounts and it's very simple and very hard on accounts. The problem is it's simple and easy for me because I'm working on so many clients and so many accounts, but so many accounts that I audit and review quite frequently 
have these fundamentals missing and that's why they're not getting the results. So whilst I speak about this in a very common sense language, I think it's really important to remember these very simple things, whilst they, you might be watching this going, I already know this, there's no value in it. It's like, well, most people don't because I'm seeing this done wrong most of the time when I'm reviewing accounts. So just remember when you are going through this, review your bidding models, make sure they are aligned with your goal. Is your goal growth or cost effectiveness? And are you e-commerce or lead generation? And know if you're trying to grow or get more leads, maximize conversions. Cost effectively, maximize conversions with a target CPA goal. Same with the bidding model. If you want more sales, maximize conversions. More revenue, maximize conversion value. And then if you want a higher rise or more revenue per sale, with a target rise. Very simple, very clear, but just use this because it does work. Once you've got the good structure set in place so the data is coming in really well and you're really happy with the data, you know it's selling, you know you're getting your leads, you know the search term report's really strong, then you flick it over to a bidding model that's aligned with your business, that's when you're gonna get the best results because settings plus structure gets the best results consistently. I've never seen it fail and I only see it fail when it's not done properly. Now, you know what time it is, I'll keep this short. Like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest and greatest Google Ads and paid ad news. And lastly, it's your time to be number one. So market lead is now taking on your clients. So if you're serious about increasing sales, increasing customers, and more importantly, scaling your business, book in a strategy session with someone in my team and you'll get a free action plan. Just go to marketlead.com.au, go to the strategy session link, and then book it in there. So remember, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll keep this short. Enjoy.